I haven't uploaded in a while, and I haven't been going to conventions much recently, obviously. But in 2019, I did attend three cons after moving across the country. So I thought I'd make a video of that. Also, sorry if any of this is incoherent, it's midnight and I've been sitting on this video idea for a while and I'm just suddenly inspired to do it, so here we go. In early 2019, I moved to the Pacific Northwest just in time to attend Emerald City Comic Con. If you've ever seen my other videos, you may know that I'd been on a quest to meet Matt Fraction, the writer of the Hawkeye comics. Well, there's been a lot of Hawkeye comics, but he wrote the best ones. It's the one that the new Disney Plus series is closely based on. Go read them. At Heroes Con 2018, I tried to meet Matt Fraction, but he ended up canceling a few weeks before the show for personal reasons. In my Heroes Con video, I made an inside joke of repeatedly saying, I just wanted to meet Matt Fraction. And now my, my catchphrase is, is now, I came here to meet Matt Fraction. So then at Emerald City Comic Con, I once again was hoping to meet Matt Fraction. Again, he canceled for personal reasons, but this time he didn't give any warning. He had a booth and everything, but he wasn't there. Thus continued the inside joke of, I just wanted to meet Matt Fraction. Even so, the con was really fun, and it was very crowded, as many comic cons tend to be. I bought some cool merch, I got an autograph from Chip Zdarsky, I got some free Java Monster that they were giving out at a booth, and I even met up with a friend from college who lives in Boston now, but flew to Seattle just to attend the convention. I definitely haven't ever traveled that far for a con, so props to him for that one. Then there was Sakura Con one month later. These were both in Seattle, by the way. Uh, I went to, for two days. One day I cosplayed as Espeon from Pokemon, and the other one I just wore a Yuri on Ice t-shirt. Very on brand. I once again met up with more college friends, and on the very last day, during the very last hour of the con, I met Ryukishi07 the author of the Higurashi and Umineko visual novels. You can actually see in these photos that I got with him, the staff is in the background tearing down the con. The autograph line was very long. It was really nice of them to let everybody go through. Um, but yeah, the con was definitely very much over and they're just packing up the con in the background. It's pretty funny. Um, but anyway, so I met Ryukishi07. If you aren't aware, this was an extremely rare and special opportunity. Ryukishi07 has had very limited convention appearances in the US, so having met him and gotten his autograph is just truly special. He's also rather secretive and private. Secretive and private. We don't really know his real name, he just goes by Ryukishi07, the screen name more or less. He also had a panel which I was unable to attend due to work, and I still regret not going to this day more than two years later. Finally, there was Rose City Comic Con, where I actually met Matt Fraction. It was glorious. I cosplayed as Kate Bishop, aka the better Hawkeye. Again, if you don't know her, go read the comics and watch the Disney Plus Hawkeye series when it comes out in November. I got an autograph from him, and I got a photo with him, and I think he said he liked my costume. He definitely commented on my purple bag being very on brand for Kate Bishop, which wasn't even intentional. That's just my bag. It was purple. <laughs> Uh, so Rose City Comic Con was in Portland, uh, and so that was my first experience getting to explore uh, Portland. It's really nice around that time of year if it's not suffering from wildfire smoke. I actually had more fun exploring the city than I did attending the con. All three of these cons had something in common, and it's that I felt very out of place there. They all felt very impersonal to me and a bit industry-focused rather than, I don't know, more like a fan gathering, I guess, as some cons feel like. I think it's a combination of factors. So the first factor is two of, two of the three of these conventions are comic cons. Most of my convention history skews mostly towards anime cons. I mean, I know I did New York Comic Con and I did Heroes Com Con, but most of my history, when I remember going to these conventions, it was usually anime cons, something where there's just a little less industry presence and a little more <laughs> teenagers hyped up on Pocky and Sugar running around. You know the drill. Well, maybe you don't. Um, and the second factor is it's an entirely brand new region for me, the Pacific Northwest is, and I don't know the local cosplay scene at all. When I went to Otakon back in the day, I was always running into people that I knew left and right. 
and I'm talking cosplayers, not just random college friends who are visiting for the, from Boston for the weekend. Portland also had some amusing street signs. Uh, yeah, <laughs> they're great. They're really great. And finally, it wouldn't be complete if I didn't mention the creepy rest stop that we had the misfortune of stopping at on the way to Portland. There's a military surplus store that's almost entirely covered in signs advertising their deals, and there's the $1 Chinese food, which someone on Facebook assures is good, but I just don't trust it. And then there's this creepy phone booth covered in graffiti. I think this was actually a different rest stop, but my point still stands. I'm really glad I made it out okay, because this phone booth looks like a place you would be murdered. 